titled Double Heading. Texan Pumps would like to remind you to always use eye and skin protection when working on this pump. Before you begin a double heading procedure, check to make sure you have the proper plunger size, proper packing, and proper head for your application. Check your MSDS for any questions. We also recommend that you always use anesthesia compound to all parts that thread together, including where the head and yoke meet, where the yoke and hex pushing meet, and where the set screws are in the eccentric wheel. Any stainless to stainless connections should have stainless steel thread sealant, such as Loctite 567. Teflon tape is still used on the suction and discharge checks, as well as a bleeder valve, which is better for high pressure and sealing fluid. To begin the process of double heading a pump, you'll first remove the faceplate from the housing. You only need to loosen one screw completely. Set the faceplate aside with the wing nut. You'll take your vice grips. You'll lock onto the roll pin. And pull the pin straight out. Twist only. Do not jiggle up and down. Once you've cleared your roll pin, you can inspect it. Make sure the ends have been flattened. Lay it aside in a clean, dry place along with your face plate. Take your inch and a quarter wrench and a backup. This wrench is going to be used for inside the housing to back up the bushing. The other wrench to loosen the blind yoke. Remove your blind yoke by turning counterclockwise while bracing the bushing inside the housing. Remove your blind plunger. Set it aside with your blind yoke. Make sure you do not lose the bushing. Next, take the plunger that you're going to be replacing for your new head. Next, insert your plunger through the bushing and into the reciprocating block. Line up your hole with your access port. Once you have it lined up, Take your roll pin, make sure it's still rounded, and take your hammer, and in position number three, which will be closest to the block, give you 100% of your injection or stroke length, you gently tap the roll pin in. Please note, do not tap the roll pin flush with the block. When you've completed this, you'll have about an eighth inch sticking out the other side of the reciprocating block. You want no more than that. If there's any more, it could shear off inside the housing. Next, you want to take your yoke, put it over your plunger, and thread it on to the bushing. Make sure the packing access port is facing upward. Once you have that in place, you can use a crescent wrench as a backup and your inch and a quarter to tighten. Lock your crescent onto the yoke and tighten the bushing to the yoke. Once you've completed that, you're then ready to put the head on. Inspect the head, make sure it's clean before you put it on. Make sure there's no debris inside. So 
going to take a little bit of force, put the pump head on, we're working the plunger into the packing. Once you've reached the threads, you'll turn clockwise, so the pump head bottoms out on the yoke. Once you've bottomed that pump head onto the yoke, you'll then back it off a turn until your suction and discharge checks are vertical or straight up and down. Then you'll proceed to tighten the yoke at the pump housing. Then you'll move back, you'll tighten your head to the yoke. Once you've completed that process, you've then double headed a pump. You're ready to reconnect your pump, set your packing, prime your pump, and continue injecting with a double headed pump.